Alright, in the previous video you learned how to create a class in your Think Central Go Math account. So this video is going to help you assign students to this class. So let's take a look. Once you're logged into your dashboard of Think Central, you'll go ahead and go to Settings, Manage Classes. Once you go to Manage Classes, notice how you have this yellow menu bar at the top, so you have lots of choices regarding classes and assignments. Okay, so once we click on Manage Classes, here you're going to see any classes that you have created. So I'm going to select my class by clicking on it. Then it will come up to this Edit Class window. Okay, so this is what you filled in and completed when you created your class. Now to assign students to this class, you need to scroll down to the bottom and click on Assign Students. Once you do that, you can see right here that it says the class, Mrs. Berg 2015-16, and under Find Students, you're going to want to choose your grade level. Otherwise, the list of students that's populated will be all students from your entire school. So I'm going to choose Grade 3, and then don't forget to click on Find. So right now, I am seeing all third grade students at this particular school. Okay? So, in my class, I'm going to go ahead and add some students. And you'll notice that I have some test students here. So I'm going to go ahead and add these three test students. So I'm going to click on Add. And now, these three kids are in my roster. And when I click on Done, those students will be added to my class. Okay. Now, if you had non-contingent students that you're choosing from this third grade list, you would click, hold down the command key, and that will allow you to then add those students, okay, by clicking on Add. Now, keep in mind that Add All means add everybody in this list. So you would add every third grade student if you just clicked on Add All. Okay, so you always just want to select and say add because that will add those specific students that you have selected. So I'm going to click on done. Okay. So now what you can see is when I click on Mrs. Berg and I scroll down and go to assign students, I can see that currently the students in my Mrs. Berg class are listed right here. Okay, so I can tell that that's who's assigned to my class. All right, now I can always, once again, go to Classes, Find and Manage Classes, okay, and that's also another way to get here. Okay, also if I click on the radio button and click on View Class Roster, that's another way that I can see who is in my class. Viewing that roster is really helpful because I can see how they're listed by last name, first name, and what their username is set up as, and their password. Okay, so as a teacher, that's going to be very helpful. Okay, to print this class roster, you could literally just click on File Print to print up this page. Okay, so that would be an option for you so you can see what those username and passwords are. If you click on Export, it will take you into Excel and just put it in an Excel spreadsheet. I have found it's almost just easier, if you're not familiar with Excel, to just print right from here if you feel you need to print this. Okay, Some teachers print this, chop them into strips, have the students paste it in their math journal or in their planner in the front so that they have that information. 